Hello everyone and welcome to this week's episode of Theology Smarts. I'm your host, Vincent Abrams. As you all know, I've searched every book and cranny of this here university to find the average high point student and test their theology smarts by asking simple questions of Adolf von Harnack. Let's meet our in-studio contestants for this week's episode. We have Miranda. <laughs> and we have Joseph. Here at Theology Smarts, it's all or nothing. That means that the winner takes it all and the loser has to fall. Let's go to the streets and meet our street contestants for this week. First, we have our Christian historian, Friedrich Luce. Second, we have German biblical scholar, Theodore Zahn. And third, we have our French theologian, Alfred Loisy. Let's see if our street contestants have any Theology Smarts. All right, Friedrich, you know the name of the game. What great theologian was born in Dorport, Estonia in 1851? I know that one. That would have to be the man that returned the gospel to its simplest essence, reinstating the piety of Jesus Christ, Adolf von Harnack. What do you guys think? We wanted to start everyone out with an easy question. That is correct. Joseph, do us a favor and explain to those at home a little more about his answer. Sure thing. The church at the time, according to Harnack, corrupted the original gospel. Harnack also wanted to return Christianity to its most simple and by the word essence. He also, he also believed in the reverence of Jesus Christ and not that of any church officials or other worldly things. In his most famous writing, What is Christianity? He said that the Gospels allow, you, allow God's perfection to meet the secular reality. Very great. Um, and exa what exactly do you mean by the essence of the Gospels? Well, Harnack believed the Gospels taught us three things. One, the, kingdom of, the coming of the kingdom of God. Two, that God is our Father and the infinite value of each human. And three, that the higher righteousness and the commandment to love others as you would love yourself. Great. He obviously knows his stuff. Now, on to the next contestant. Theodore Zahn, let's see what you've got. Your question. Did Adolf von Harnack believe in miracles? Well, so I have to say that most everyone would agree that the Lord's miracles are plenty. So, yes. Survey says... Oh, I'm so sorry, Zahn. Miranda, would you like to tell us why he was incorrect? Yeah. As Harnack stated in Lecture to Avoid Christianity, Harnack did not believe in miracles in the strict sense of the word. He believed that miracles were just part of the order of nature, and what happens in time and space is simply just the laws of motion. He stated that in the Gospel and other parts of the Bible that those miraculous events only happen due to the lack of knowledge of the laws of nature. Whammy! That was an awesome explanation, Miranda. Now, audience, we'll be right back after these commercial messages. Hi, welcome to HarnackSuit.com. How may I help you? Yes, thank you. I have been recently finding myself confused about the number of interpretations of the Gospels I have been hearing for Catholicism. And you worry they may have interpreted the Gospels a little bit too much. Yes, thank you. But how do I know which to believe or what is true? Well, we can compare their interpretations of the Gospels with that of, of Adolf von Harnack. Seriously? Even though he's from the 1850s? Yes. Look how straightforward the Gospel action. Look at the circles of thought in the Gospels. Not to mention, Jesus teaches the necessity of good living. Whoa! It all makes sense now. It's so simple. Well, yeah. It's pretty easy when you look at it through the eyes of good old Harnack. Making sure you understand what the Gospel is really saying. Now that's Harnack's truth. Call or click today. Welcome back, everyone. It's time to meet our third and final participant for this round, Alfred Loisy. Let's do it. All right, I love your enthusiasm. Your question's a little bit of a tricky one. What did Harnack believe to be the two main aspects of the gospel? Well, Harnack would, regardless of the criticism I made on what is Christianity, say that you should awaken, believe, awaken the belief of Jesus Christ as a person and show his missions. This is shown by the description of the deeds, discourses, and the referral back to the Old, Old Testament. Bazinga! You are correct. Now that was a tough one. Well done. Now, moving on. Back to Luce. Okay, Luce, are you ready for your next question? Yes, let's go two for two. All right. What allows us to know Jesus without knowing the history of him? All right, well, as a fervent believer of Harnack, I'm going to have to say that, firstly, the gospel shows us Jesus' teachings 
through the main features and how individuals apply them to their daily life. Um, secondly, it shows us the purpose of Jesus. And thirdly, it shows us the impression Jesus made on those he was closest to, including his disciples. Correct again! Fantastic! We'll be right back after this sneak preview of Harnack, coming to you soon. while the Bible is being corrupted by the Catholic and Jewish faiths. Harnack, it is a ridiculous to think that's the only way to know what the Bible saved to us. It's the only way. You have to study the Gospels and apply them to in and out of Jesus' time. If you can't do that, that's not the essence of the gospel. And we're back. Now on to our final round. Our fifth question of the day is for Zahn. Are you ready? Well, I hope so. What method did Adolf von Harnack use to figure out what Christianity was all about? Well, I believe he used the historical method. Let's see what the audience has to say. Great. Brenda, tell us a little bit about how Harnack used the historical method to find the essence of the Gospels. Well, he looked for new or novel things in Jesus' message. He looked for those that couldn't be explained by Jesus' Judaism or historical context. He also looked for those that didn't seem historically correct, so if something was particular to Jesus' this time, then it probably wasn't the essence of the Gospel. Now on to our last question. Loisy. Postman. Last question for today's episode. What was Harnack's purpose in studying Christianity? I know this one. Harnack showed how important Christianity was, wanted to show how important Christianity was to the con contemporary culture, which was falling for materialism in the 19th century. This deemed to be one of the biggest threats for the people in that time period. Great! Sorry, Joseph, the streets were just too smart to get back around to you today. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's all the time that we have for this evening. Remember to get out and see Harnack coming to theaters in January 2015. And remember, I'm Benson Abrams, and this is Theology Smarts. Thank you.